So should I get a corticosteroid injection if I have knee pain or should I try something else? And I get this question a lot. And I just came across a recent research study that I really want to share with you because I think it's very valuable and I think it'll kind of give you a turn in the right direction. So my name is Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I specialize in helping people with osteoarthritis. So if you have osteoarthritis, you are in the right place and make sure you hit that red subscribe button while you're at it. So that way you can get updates when I release new videos. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna give you the quick and dirty version of this study, but it is, I am actually gonna put the link to the full text below so you can go look at it if you want. Okay, so this study was done by the US military system and they essentially took 156 people. Now, if we look at these people, they had an average age of 56, which is a common age for arthritis. And they also had varying degrees of osteoarthritis. So there are technically four stages if you don't count zero, five if you count zero. Um, and these were kind of a variety of all different kinds. So they weren't all mild, they weren't all severe. It was kind of a range of all the different stages. If you don't know anything about the stages of osteoarthritis, I do have a blog post. Check it down in the description below. But so they took these 156 people and they split them into two groups. So this study is called physical therapy versus glucocorticosteroid injection for osteoarthritis of the knee. Okay, so between these 156 people, half got physical therapy. This physical therapy consisted of eight sessions in the span, it says four to six weeks. So I think they had up to six weeks to complete all eight of those sessions. And the other group received a glucocorticosteroid injection, which is a typical steroid injection that people typically receive for knee osteoarthritis. And that was kind of it for that. So they had this follow-up here with the physical therapy and they kind of just received the shot and just kind of went on their merry way. Okay, so for the primary measurement of this study, they used something called the WOMAD, which is the Western Ontario and McMaster's University Osteoarthritis Index, or the WOMAC. And this is a test that's commonly used um, if people have arthritis and what they ask you arthritis in particular. And basically it asks a bunch of questions and it has you rate on a scale of none, mild, moderate, severe, extreme. So say the first one, how much pain do you have walking on a flat surface? None, mild, moderate, severe, extreme. So the higher your pain, the higher your score. Then they look at how you do functioning. So then they ask, what degree of difficulty do you have descending stairs? And you rate on the same scale. So essentially the more pain or the more disability you have, the higher your score. Usually the test is out of 96 points. But the one that they specially use for this study is out of 240 points, which essentially is, it just gives a higher score to each of the columns. So I'm gonna post the one that's out of 96, but this one that they use is out of 240 points. A year later, they followed up with this exact same test and asked people where they were. Shockingly enough, the people that got physical therapy had less of a score and it was pretty dramatic. So in here they say that the people that had physical therapy a year later rated a score of 37 when the baseline was 107. So everyone kind of scored a, around 107 when they started but now they're down to 37 even a year later. The steroid injection, on the other hand, their score was around 108, so the groups were fairly even, but their score was 55 after the year has passed. And so it was almost 20 points lower when people receive physical therapy. And there's, I mean, a lot to kind of unpack with this. And one of the things is if you were just to go get a steroid injection, you typically don't really get much other advice, much other like exercises or things along that nature. You're kind of just getting the injection and then maybe seeing your follow up for another three months or seeing your family physician just to see where you're at.
But with physical therapy, you're not only getting some some pain relieving things and some exercise, but you're also kind of getting just some general education about your arthritis and what it means and your mindset kind of about it. You're told kind of how to think about it. So that way you can gain some confidence, not only physically, but mentally. And I think that's where we can attribute some of these results to is that when you have physical therapy, you are directly interacting with a physical therapist, health professional regularly. So going back to, should I get a steroid injection if I have knee arthritis? Now, obviously it's going to vary dramatically depending on the person. But if you are coming to me and asking me, should I, what should I do? One of the, there's a couple of things that you need to think about. And one of them is, have you tried physical therapy or have you sought out a exercise professional or a movement professional that can give you some options? Because if you haven't, I would highly recommend going that way first because this study shows that you have more longer term results if you can figure out how to kind of manage your pain more naturally and not have to depend on a steroid injection because I've seen lots of people who depend on these steroid injections and are just waiting the three months and just desperately waiting for the next shot because their pain becomes so bad. I do have quite a few people that this has helped with temporarily. The one caveat with trying one of these cortisone shots is if you have like significant pain, you've tried exercise, you've tried all of these other things and you just cannot find relief. Cortisone shots can be helpful if you look at it in a sense that you are getting it so you can get some pain relief so that way you can go and try exercise you can go and try changing your diet you can go and try some of these other things primarily exercise but some of the other things as well but if you think of it as a band-aid to the situation you're just going to keep needing them over and over again and it's just going to be a temporary thing but if you have some mild arthritis and you have some maybe achiness haven't necessarily explored too much exercise other than you know searching for some youtube videos things like that i would highly recommend going that route because in order to succeed with osteoarthritis it's not just about exercise you have to actually learn about your condition talk to somebody about your personal situation and find guidelines that you can follow yourself, whether it's a personalized program, whether it's just kind of working through some of your pain, because that is where the gold lies in finding treatment for osteoarthritis, finding pain relief. The more you understand about your condition, the better off you will be. And so I have people asking me all the time, like what type of exercise should I do? How do I know if it's too much? And I have lots of videos on that, but it's if you can personally talk to somebody about that, that is where the key is. So if you have arthritis and are just kind of starting out in this journey and it's maybe it's mild, but are just kind of figuring out where to go next, I want you to go down to the bio or go down, click the description and you will see a link for the ultimate arthritis guide. This is a few things that you can actually start learning about your arthritis because that's going to unlock a lot of doors. I don't want you to think that steroid injections are the only way for pain relief. They are an option, but I would highly recommend trying something movement related first. And this study kind of really kind of supports that. But it's just the fact that we kind of race to some of these more passive temporary treatments more quickly than we should. And this could be just because we think it might be the only option. And so I would highly recommend seeking out some personalized help from a movement specialist, from somebody who specializes in arthritis and actually will take the time to listen to your situation because surgery is not your only option. Steroid shots are not your only option. There is some mixed reviews about steroid injections. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they can make your arthritis worse, sometimes they don't. And it's just one of those kind of toss up things. But there's lots of supporting evidence with exercise. And so it's one of those things that you have to find the right type of exercise and the right type of person to be able to give them to you. So go ahead, download that ultimate arthritis guide. If you do want to read this study too, 
go ahead and click that down below because you can find out what they actually did and lots of other details about it. But before you go out and get a steroid injection, I want you to try a few things first. See how it goes for you. Try exercise, try movement, personalized movement. A lot of these generalized programs don't necessarily help everyone. So if you've tried a couple of those before, you want to potentially go the more personalized route if you didn't get success with that. Okay, I hope that this was helpful. In conclusion, if you have knee pain or any joint pain, but this study was on knee arthritis, if you have joint pain, consider all of your options before getting a steroid shot. All right, guys, Dr. Alyssa Kewen, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope that this was helpful.